Joan Bebo, who is, is the, uh, is the elementary school teacher in Leech, Leech Lake Indian Reservation in, in rural northern Minnesota. She is a 34 year veteran of teacher and enrolled in a member of the White Earth Band of the Ojibwe tribe, and she is awarded the Minnesota Indian Education Association Teacher of the Year in 2006. Chairman Miller, Mr. McKeon, and members of the committee, I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to testify before the committee today. I offer my experience as a veteran classroom teacher and as a member of Education Minnesota and an affiliate of both the AFT and the NEA. I am a teacher of 34 years and an enrolled member of the White Earth Band of Ojibwe. I was awarded the Minnesota Indian Education Association Teacher of the Year Award in 2006. I've often been asked, how did I succeed in becoming a teacher and making it my profession? The answer is that there were two major influences. One was my parents, and the other is my recruitment into the Northern Plains Indian Teacher Corps. Let me share the views of many of my colleagues and myself about NCLB. We often feel as though the rules were made without regard to the actual needs of our students and the realities of our work as teachers. If I had one suggestion for the committee, it would be this. Improve the law so that it recognizes the actual world we teach in and then provide educators with the tools and resources we know that are essential to help our students succeed. Allow me to provide a snapshot of the environment where I live and teach. My home is in rural northern Minnesota in Itasca County with a population of 44,000. Our co county encompasses three small remote communities on the Leech Lake Indian Reservation. I teach preschool and kindergarten at Eagle View Elementary. The student population is 64% American Indian and has a 60% graduation rate. We are a Title I school with a poverty rate of 82%. The challenge for NCLB and educators is to support and educate all children, especially those who are struggling academically. We certainly need the best teachers we can find for our student population in northern Minnesota, but I don't see the evidence that NCLB is particularly helpful in this regard. In Minnesota, nearly all teachers are already meet the federal requirements to be considered highly qualified when they enter the profession because of Minnesota's high standards for licensure. Funding is a significant challenge in my district. We hire good teachers, but we can't afford to keep them. Our student enrollment is declining, as in many northern Minnesota districts. As a result, many of our teachers, including me, have been laid off multiple times for budgetary reasons. The solution to improving high teacher quality is not to, to make the highly qualified requirements stricter or to make teachers jump through more, through more hoops to prove their qualifications. What's really needed to ensure high quality teaching is the pr presence of professional supports that will allow us to keep the good teachers we have. States and schools should provide all teachers with professional pay school-based professional development and adequate working conditions in order to attract and retain qualified teachers, especially in hard-to-staff schools. Legislation such as Chairman Miller's TEACH Act and the Teacher Center Act recognize the importance of these issues and create partnerships with local school districts to meet these challenges. In closing, I want to highlight the importance of improved improve teacher and learning conditions in schools as a strategy for recruiting and retaining excellent teachers. A recent study by the California State University found the teaching and learning environments was an even more significant than salary in the teacher's decision on whether to stay or leave the profession. I encourage the committee to look at the issue of teacher quality through the eyes of experienced, highly qualified teachers like myself and ask us what actually works in the classroom and what we need to be great teachers who can produce great results for all our students. We are more than happy to assist you. Thank you again for inviting me to testify today.